My name is Mick Stallone from Sydney High Fight Monaval. We're here this afternoon with Jack Sarkisian of Synergy, who is going to run us through the simple setup steps for the Riga RP6 turntable. Hope you enjoy. Talk to you soon. First thing we like to do, obviously, because this is how they, they come from the factory, is do the wiring before you attach the cartridge. So just pull all the wires to one side, just so it keeps them out of the way. I like to use little pliers, but you can use your fingers, you can use whatever you're comfortable with, but that's just the way I like to do it. So if you follow the diagram, we'll do the inside ones first, so the white and the blue. So just grab them by the solder tab and literally just push them on. Right. And, and then we'll do the red and the green, doesn't matter in what order. Just a few times. So as you can see the wires are still all out of the way. Now to attach it, obviously you've got to be a little bit careful that you don't touch the uh, the cantilever or the stylus. Hold it by the sides, even just there is good. You always put the third mounting point in first. Now the beauty of Riga using the three mounting points, the stylus sits exactly where it's supposed to in terms of its movement fore and aft but also it makes alignment a lot easier because the three-point mount allows very little uh, latitude for it to go out of alignment where a two-point mount obviously can pivot quite a bit. And because this tone arm is powder coated you just have to thread this screw through until it lines up. And all you want to do is just barely finger tight just so the cartridge isn't going to fall. You can see the nut and the uh, bolt for the other two points. You've got a groove in the top, that's where the nut is designed to sit. So the Allen, Allen head bolt has to go up from underneath. It also makes tightening a lot easier as well. So we like to do it this way using the approved Riga torque wrench. Unlatch it. And if you haven't got the Riga torque wrench... It does come with a little Allen key in the box, yep. but it, this is a lot easier. Obviously is there a problem the if you over tighten it? No. Okay. The polymer that's used to make the cartridge body would happily support my weight. I'm 75 kilos. It won't deform. It will completely crush the stylus, of course, but yep. um, yep. you will not deform the plastic on this. Just, while that's held, just tighten it by finger. And that's enough. And same for the other one. Now it's important that you do it like this because the plastic cover for the stylus, the stylus guard, is held in place with a tension fit on the Allen head bolts. If you put it the other way, the nuts are obviously bigger than the head of the Allen bolt, it won't go on at all. Yeah. So it's always important to do this. Okay. We're changing sides. That's fine. Alright, so. Just want to nip that up a fraction just so they don't move. And then we'll go through the alignment process. Now what you'll find with all, all of these Riga cartridges, if you look down the middle here, there's a little line moulded into moulded through the centre of the cartridge. Obviously that needs to go through the centre of the uh, circle behind the third mounting bolt. But another good way of doing the alignment, if we look into the corners just here and here, you'll, you'll be able to see through it down to the white paper that we've got underneath. There should be an equal amount of white visible in each corner at the back and at the moment there isn't. It's uh, mm -hmm. a little, little bit twisted that way so if we just nip it. So basically you can have, do a full alignment without any without protractor any, required? any special tools at all. Even though it does come with a protractor in the yes, box? Yes it does, yes Excellent. it does. And you can double check it later with on the with protractor. the protractor. Okay. And so I'm, it's always good to check it with the protractor. Yep. Yeah. But I am very confident, and once you've done a few of these you'll understand, I'm very confident that won't move. So now if we look, we are pretty well square. There's the same amount of light just coming through the corners of each side. Yep. It's a little, little bit difficult to see maybe with a camera, but yep, very it. clear to see with the naked eye. And now we just nip up the other three screws, the other two screws, sorry. And that will just slip once it's done. And that gives you the perfect tension. 
So the cartridge is now mounted, it is also aligned. I have no fear of that. We then need to set the uh, tracking force and down, down with weight and also then the bias as well. Now, it's always easy to do it from the front of the uh, turntable. Just grasp the tone arm and the weight. Although there's no thread on it, it does have two O-rings in there, so it's just easier to twist on to start with. Just it moves a little bit easier. So you take it about two-thirds of the way in as a starting point. Make sure the dial, the adjustment dial on here is on zero. And then what we want to do is get it to a neutral balance point or floating point. Now ideally, let's just try this. So it's nose heavy at the moment. Where you, you hold the uh, tone arm from here, so that gives you control over, over the tone arm, but it doesn't impede it moving up and down. That will just go mm -hmm. by itself. So that's a little bit nose heavy, so we need to just oops, wind that back a fraction. Try it again. And still nose heavy, so let's go back a touch more. Right, now no, still nose heavy. You only need small movements. Otherwise it's going to go, if you do a big movement, it then goes the opposite way quite easily. So that's way too much to the back. So I really think it's about right. That's still probably a little bit rear heavy. A bit nose heavy. Alright, when we think we're about when we think we're about right, give it a tap and let it settle. What that does is just release any tension that might have happened uh, on the adjustment of the bearing. And that's still a little nose heavy, so fraction back again. Alright, now we start to get some of it. Tap. Tap, yeah. And you want that to bounce at least three times to make sure the bearing is nice and loose. So when we think we are right, that spot on. We have the tone arm um, at its zero, uh, zero balance point. We now need to weight the cartridge. Now, rigors are all 1.75 grams, so you have a graded uh, scale on the side and you just wind on the weight slowly. So that's half a gram, one gram, one and a half, two, and back to about 1.75. So that's now got the uh, downforce weight correct. We then have to also set the bias, which is the anti-skate control. So, as you can see, there's a slight groove um, in that uh, in this magnetic piece. So, as it dips into the groove, that would be a reference point of one. As it comes back out level with the uh, outside, that's two. So again, we want 1.75. So that's one and. About 0.75, and that's it. We're ready to play. Beautiful. Put the stylus guard back on when you're not using it, and you're done. All done.